Thank you. It's uh, a bit of an odyssey, I would think, the last two days. Can you just sort of describe the, the difference of yesterday and today and the overall? I mean, it must be a relief to have that match over. Yeah, it's a great relief, obviously, and uh, to get it over in four sets. Uh, as well, I mean, I was a different player. I felt much more comfortable on the court today than I did yesterday. Obviously, the conditions were um, more brutal for for all of us who played uh, played yesterday. I can imagine only for the two guys before us. I mean, they had to play, uh, you know, four sets on on that wind. And uh, you know, he was the Ferrer was, uh, uh, I think, coping with uh, with that conditions much better than I did, and he. He was uh, handling it great. I mean, I, I haven't found any rhythm, so, uh, you know, for, for I didn't mind getting off the court yesterday, <laughs> to be honest, and coming in today. If you had no, 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 sorry. Yeah, it's over here. Um, yeah. You've played Andy in two pretty big occasions this year at the Australian Open and the Olympics and different outcomes both times. What, what was the differences in the two matches, and what do you, what do you remember most about that Australian Open? Well, I remember that match going <laughs> five sets, and, and the distance it was uh, difficult, as you know, in in both physical and and, and mental uh, mental way, um, and a lot of long rallies, and you couldn't really say who is going to to win that match up to the last point. So um, most of our matches that we played against each other were very close, and uh, only small margins decide the winner. And that's uh, that's something that you it is is expected in a way because we have a similar games and uh, you know we are we are big rivals and uh, and we have been in top of the men's game for a long time so we know each other really well and uh, the last match he has won in uh, in Olympic Games also a close one but it's uh, it's a different surface obviously you know with the different surface different tactics uh, apply so. We'll see. You know, tomorrow I guess there is no clear favorite. Can you talk us through your routine no. over the last, you know, 30 hours? I'm sorry. No, yeah, no. I got two questions. I'm yeah. sorry. What are your impressions <laughs> of the evolution of Andy's game and the effect of Ivan Lendl on him? Well, I think he's he's going for the shots more than he he used to. I mean, and that's that's something that uh, I guess he was looking for and. Uh, um, I don't know if he's with Ivan's help or, or not, but he's definitely improved in that part of the game. I mean, mentally he's, I think, uh, uh, more aggressive into the court right now. <coughs> Probably that's that's the only uh, thing that he was missing, you know, in the in the, in his game because he's uh, one of the most complete players uh, in the world right now. In the last couple of years, he was at the top of the men's game. This is his fifth Grand Slam final and. We all knew that uh, that he is definitely a contender to win uh, a Grand Slam title, you know, any year in the last five years. But uh, you know, it just uh, wasn't to be in last four for him. Uh, tomorrow, I guess he's going to be very motivated to to win the title. But uh, uh, me too. Also, I will try to <laughs> try to win that match. Well, I mean, you know, it's, I think it's uh, uh, their rivalry is is incredible. You know, it's probably the, the the best rivalry we have in sport. But you know, also it's good for for tennis to see uh, uh, different faces in the in the finals of uh, of a Grand Slam. So uh, I don't mind, to be honest. You know, I think we played uh, finals of 2011, Australian Open, Andy and me. So uh, it's not the first time. And it's not the first time we are playing an important match against each other in best, best of five. So I'm sure we'll uh, <laughs> deliver some good tennis for, for the people. Uh, now I'll try. Uh, yesterday, Dave Brewer said that four players gave four different opinions about what they wanted to see done yesterday, whether move you guys onto the other court, to, you know, get it started, not get it started. Can you share what your opinion was and what your routine was when you got through yesterday? Well, there was uh, an evacua evacuation mode, so we we had to get as quickly out from the from the club as possible. So that's uh, you know it was it was an emergency. So we you know we all went home, and then I've I've done you know the work with uh, you know with my physio, and then with the coach for preparation for this day. So that that was all. I mean, uh, regarding the situation yesterday, I mean weather conditions is something you cannot affect. 
obviously it was it was incredibly difficult for for all of us and uh, I mean people who watched the matches the match of Murray and Verdi could see that you know how many times that the player tossed the ball and, and just let it drop it's uh, I never seen that in my life ever that so many times it happened during the match so it was brutal but you know I once I was on the court I, I really tried to think only about the match I didn't start well you know I tried to get the rhythm when they came in on 5-2 I mean that's uh, Something, you know, I didn't ask for it. No, no, nobody asked for it. You know, we were focused on the match, but we had to get out, and uh, so we came in today. Were you relieved to get out? Yeah, I didn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. No, did, did you want to play on, with Armstrong Stadium yesterday, though, while the first night final was going on? Uh, no. No. I mean, they didn't ask me, but, you know, that was an option. And I said, I mean, it's it's not on me to decide. Obviously, whatever you decide, I have to have to accept it. You've been in this position before, Australia, where you had less time to recover for the final to get the second semifinal. Yeah. Last time, how what are the challenges in that? Now you have even less time before this final than you did. Well, I had, I think, in 2010 also a uh, similar situation. I mean, I played five sets with with Roger, and and then. Uh, Supposed to, I came in the next day, and then it rained. We had to move the finals for Monday. So, it's, if I'm not mistaken, this is the fifth Monday final here in U.S. Open, and uh, I, I'm not so sure about this Super Saturday. You know, I'm really, I'm not so sure about that uh, anymore. Um, I really hope that the tournament will consider changing things for next year, and. Uh, I, I, I think I'm not I'm not speaking in the name of myself only. I think most of the players will agree. And uh, every Grand Slam has a Friday, su Sunday, you know, last couple of days. And this is the only Grand Slam that that uh, has Super Saturday and then, you know, eventually playing back-to-back -back five sets with the top rivals and top guys. Yeah, I think that's ridiculous, you know, for uh, from the players' perspective. So we'll see what happens. This is the last year. No. Well, in life you have ups and downs, so I wasn't really surprised with, uh, if you want to call it, uh, a bit uh, um, less success, you know, in, in 2012 than it was in 2011. But it's really hard to expect that I can win every single match that I play in six months, you know. So <laughs> this maybe happens once once in your lifetime. But I try to take the, the best out of that experience, you know, try to uh, use it in my own favor, uh, in a way that it brings me confidence knowing that I can play that well on different surfaces. So uh, regardless of the comparison between these two years, I still think that it's, it's, it's been a fantastic year for me in, the, in, the, you know, in 2012. Yeah, yeah, we watched it together yesterday. It's did good you that you asked me. We did. Zero, zero. We watched, we watched before his semifinals. And we took the computer and we watched. We were talking about the football qualifications for uh, soccer. <laughs> you call it. So it was Scotland against Serbia and we watched it. And uh, obviously it was... Uh, we, we tried to be quiet, but inside we were cheering for our own uh, national teams. <laughs> Uh, no, no, I don't. I don't feel any problems physically. I mean, as I said, it was good to to have the job done in, in four sets today, and uh, um, I feel I feel feel fresh as I can be at, the, at this stage of the tournament. And I'm looking forward for tomorrow. New Yorkers make a big deal out of the weather, so I feel compelled to ask you this question uh, because it hasn't been asked. Um, Murray completed his match in the win. Uh, Ferrer was coping better in the win, you said. Yes. If you had to play all those sets in the win yesterday, do you think the outcome might have been different? The outcome is the way it is today. So <laughs> we, I don't want to think, <laughs> I don't want to go back. No ifs now. <laughs> at, at, the French, at the French Open, uh, Rafa, final, Rafa was in pretty good control, and then you really uh, put together an incredible rally, as I recall, like eight games in a row. Had the momentum and, and seemed to be going for it. Then the rain came. And then the weather yeah. didn't help me. So, talk about that. 
about Lemay yeah. and talk about things balance out. Uh, did you reflect on that at all? Well, look, you know, I, I mean, I, I was really happy to reach the finals in Roland Garros. I never did in my career, and it was uh, just a great achievement. Uh, I mean, considering that I came back from four match points down in quarters and then two sets down the, the round before that, so I could have gone out from the tournament in, in the previous rounds, but I went to the finals and then I faced, you know, the ultimate challenge on clay, you know, Nadal and the defending champion. So, I mean, I, I came back, I've, I've, I started feeling much better as, as the match go, uh, went on and, um, you know, I, that run from eight games to love, I mean, it was it was incredible uh, tennis and, 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 you know, I felt that th those conditions, wet conditions were favoring me more than him. And then the you know the rain came and uh, we we continued the next day. You know I I don't want to go back and say you know that's why I lost the match. I mean uh, it helped me. You know the first interruption we had it helped me to to regroup and come better on the court. So you know it's uh, it's something that is not. Uh, I don't think it's good to talk about those uh, excuses or I mean weather conditions favoring one player or the other. It's it's something you cannot affect. So Momentum? Yeah. Yeah, of course. I mean, of course, momentum is always important. Last two in English, please. Oh, um, if you don't mind, uh, one quick one again about yesterday's conditions. As an experienced 